Hey Aquarius, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for the rest of March. So this is for uh, March 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. We're going to go ahead and jump right on in here, Aquarius. I do have personals open for anyone who's interested. Um, for the time being, there are three different options and the details are below this video in the description box. So let's see what we have here for you, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius for the rest of March? What do we have for Aquarius for the rest of March? All right, Aquarius. Hmm. Two pages here. Ooh, I like this so far. We're gonna see what uh, the clarifiers have to say, of course, but you have the Page of Cups. This can be an emotional conversation, like a message from a water sign. This could be some emotional work that you're doing as well. Um, this can represent like affirmations and things of that nature. Um, I feel like you're working hard on your manifestations here. You do have the Wheel of Fortune. So this can represent a return on investment or a return of some sort in general or an unexpected change happening here or something happening um, at an unexpected pace, which page of wands, I will lean more towards more towards that something happening at an unexpected pace, getting the news that something is happening quicker with it being wands. That represents like that's the fastest of all of all the um, elements. And then we have the ace of pentacles. So it could have to do with money or commitment. We're going to figure out what's going on here. If this is a person, it might be a fire or water sign. Wow. Yeah. Getting your just due here with the justice card showing up, the seven of wands. I feel like your blessings was, were blocked for a long time here. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe it could have been blocked by like a timid energy. You know, it's almost as if maybe you withdrew when you were like right there at the finish line for some of you just felt like it wasn't you know, like it was too good to be true or something of that nature. But now I feel like you're finally reaching out for your blessings here. You're finally demanding what's yours, okay? What's owed to you? And I think that's bringing about a big change for you with the Wheel of Fortune, all right? What's going on with that Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius? So if you could have Pisces or Sagittarius in your chart here as well, what's going on with that for Aquarius? The Two of Pentacles and the Fool. I feel like for a lot of you, this is involving money or a big decision surrounding work. It's like you've had to move money around. You've had to move, um, you know, your, your schedule around, something of that nature. Here, You're getting something that's more lenient, more flexible. But also, I feel like you could be breaking free of some, like, restraints almost. The Two of Pentacles. Maybe you have felt kind of controlled involving money or work. Um, you've just felt too controlled, like your time has, has been too controlled or, uh, you know, what you have earned has been controlled too much. That's the energy I'm sensing here. You're breaking free of that with the, with the full card. It feels like you're rebelling against this here. And it's bringing about a big change here. And I feel like it's happening a lot faster than you expected with the Page of Wands. Things are just really unraveling, but I feel like it's in a positive way. What's going on with the Page of Wands? Eight of Pentacles, it looks like it's involving work and the Knight of Pentacles, and it's long overdue. It's long overdue. That's the thing. So I feel like it's it's starting to speed up here. It's something you invested in a long time ago, basically. I feel like you may actually try a different approach, and that could be what how this happens here, how this plays out, okay? Um, like you've changed the formula here. You've changed the ingredients, or you've changed the way you're approaching it, the way you're putting it out there, where you're putting it out there. There's a lot that could be changed about this, and I feel like you're you're trying everything here. Ace of Pentacles, like you're trying whatever it takes. What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles here for Aquarius? We have one popping out here. The Four of Cups. You've gone back to the drawing board a lot, okay, because you see the potential in this and you're you're not giving up on it here. You have the Four of Wands. I feel like because of this, you're able to celebrate very soon, okay? Five of Pentacles is here. Five of Pentacles is material trouble. You have the Queen of Wands, okay? That's, I, I feel like you've been in a creative rut and I feel like that's why the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands are showing up together. It could have really hits you hard in the pride here, Aquarius, but also, um, you know, I do feel as if you really needed that in order to gain clarity, in order to make sense of things from all angles, because the King of Swords is somebody who's mastered everything. This is your calling, Aquarius. Make no mistake, okay? Temperance is a card of, like, turning water to wine, but also needing to have patience. I feel like you're getting the recognition that you deserve here. This is a victory. It's success. It's high honor. You know, it's it's you being celebrated, and I feel like there are multiple avenues you can go down with this. Um, so it feels really exciting, actually. It feels like you're finally seeing a return on something you've been investing in for a while. Aquarius, that's what I'm seeing here for you. Um, I do hope this was helpful. Details are down below for anyone who's interested in a personal. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.